Hi everybody, I'm Robin from Talks From The Heart. Well, we're gonna set up my October planner. I use a B6 Stalogy and I am going to go over everything that I've picked out. I've already gone through all that. It takes me a while and then sometimes I get distracted or I get interrupted because Cooper decides to monitor and bark at a leaf blowing in the front yard. All right, so I'm just gonna go over the supplies that I've pulled out and um, show you what I'm gonna use. So this is a little kitty cutter that I got from Amazon. They come in a pack of three and I use that to cut washi. Uh, I keep one of these in my planner cart and then one of my to-go bag and then a spare one. But for like, I think $5.99, I'll link it below. It was a great deal. I have a tweezers that I use sometimes to lay down little bitty uh, number stickers. And I got this at TJ Maxx. I've, and I'm going over this because I've had people ask me this stuff. And so I just wanna make sure that um, if anybody has a question, they know where to find it. Um, the beauty section, you guys, at TJ Maxx, and you can get a pack of two or something like that, and for like $3.99, okay? Washi cutter that was gifted to me for my birthday from Honey Bee Shop, and I use this kind of as a straight edge for when I'm cutting or to tear my washi. And then what I'm going to use um, this month is, I'm gonna do something different that I've never done before. I'm actually going to use a full Sweet Kawaii Designs um, Kawaii Sub Kit. I saw this, I loved it, and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna use just the kit as much as I can, and um, I will link her YouTube channel below where she goes over everything, but for one price, I got all of this. I got a bookmark, let's just set that aside. I got a five by seven big um, jumbo sticker, some deco, I'm not really prepared where I'm gonna set this, there we go. Um, some really cute deco, some headers, and then some more fun deco with some habit trackers. I'm gonna call those habit trackers. I, I, know, I know they're not, I, I think they're called habit trackers, but the other little skinny ones are also habit trackers. Here's um, some checklists. I don't like these at all. They're not my style, but I love the pumpkins. They're adorable. So I'm really excited. I'm actually don't traditionally use checklists, but I'm gonna try this month. Okay, and let's see, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's 16 of them. And hmm, that won't get me all through the month, but that's okay, I'll alternate them. Some full boxes and then some half boxes more, these are flat lays, how cute are those, and some full boxes, and then a bunch of functional, functionable, that's not a good, that's not a word I can say fast. <laughs> some weekend banners, here's habit trackers, and then some quarter boxes, scalloped half boxes, your date covers, so you have enough for four weeks in this kit, and then the washi, uh, not a huge fan of the washi. Um, I mean, it's cute and everything, and it goes with the kit. But I got, I got, I got to add something to that. I just have to. So I pulled out these three or these four simply gilded washi, and I just wanted to actually let's lay this like this, and then just kind of pull in some colors. So there's gray. So we can, and then it talks about books and reading. So I thought I'd use the Simply Gilded Book Washi. It's kind of hard to see when it's on the roll. Let me see, this stuff is old. This is very vintage, if you can call it that. Let's see. Okay, let's get it in focus. There we go. So it's kind of subtle. But that's the only book washi that wasn't pastel. And what I thought I would do is kind of lay it over the washi like that just to kind of add some, some fun to it. I am having focusing issues. There we go. Okay, so I thought about that. I think for sure I'm going to use that. Oh, I really, I think this is too much plaid and pattern. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this for the monthly because I, I do have some um, rose gold foiled date dots that I'm going to use. And I think this might be a little bit too much gray on that washi. I like it though. 
but I love this and the books. So for sure I'll be layering that and then I think I'm just gonna keep these aside just to kind of put them on ice. Okay, so that is the full kit that I'm gonna use then. It is a sub box, but um, they do allow you to skip a month, I believe. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna link her channel below and I'm gonna link her website below and then you do your due diligence reading all the rules and stuff because I'm not in charge of her business and so I don't like to put that stuff out there on a video that may sit there forever. And then here I'm saying something and she has the option to change her business and her guidelines. So, all right, so I do stencil out a couple of monthly layouts and that's what I have my stencils pulled out for. And then I use this for my gratitude. And then I thought I would try this side and this for um, my dailies. And I may do that with the ones that I don't use the pumpkin checklist for. So those are my stencils. I buy them from Kathy's Pouches. Um, I, I love that shop and she gives really good customer service. So I have a kind of a rose gold vinyl that my friend Rachel from Rachel Beauty Plans made for me. She's making her vinyls and um, she's always like, do you want them on? And I'm like, yes. So Rachel, I'm just going to tell you right now, just make them. I'll take them. <laughs> just make them. I'll take them. Okay. So here is, I think this is from Scribble Prince, Prince Co. So I just keep um, date dots like this and I just keep scraps because you can always grab the week you need. But for my monthly layouts, since I have in the kit, I have all the date dots that are the dates that I need. I need these for my monthly, like the sticker of the day, my weather tracker, and then my no spend. So this is from Raspberry Designs and this is from Scribble Prints Co. And I'm just using up what I have. Okay, then to track stuff, if I don't spend money, I always get to put a sticker down. So I pulled these from my stash, Sterling Ink. She has amazing clear, these are clear, let me do this, clear stickers. You can see that here. It's going to focus. I have a new camera or a new phone, you guys, and I'm clearly, this is the first time I'm filming camera down. Um, so this is sage and I thought that kind of pulled out the grayish green. I don't know. I just needed a change from the brown that I used last month. And then this is a little mini purse with money. And I thought that the days that um, I spent, I could put this down and the days I don't spend, I could put this down. So I like that because it's just a little bit of a change. I do have a promo code for her. So if you use that, it's um, a nice discount of 20% off. So um, I pulled this. I just came across this when I was hunting for stuff. This is from a happy planner. I'm going to use that on my gratitude. It's really big. So I, I don't know if I'm going to make it work, but we'll see. Okay, so I found this when I was going through everything, and it's a uh, TV series tracker. I believe it's from Peanuts Planner Co., and I'm going to use this and just try it out and see if I'm going to like it because this is the last month that I'm going to get out of this Stalogy, so come November, I need to start a new one, and so I'm trying different things that I might want to keep track of, and um, so I'm going to give this a go for the month of October. I pulled out... I had one of these already printed for October on Tomoe River paper, so I'm gonna use that for one of my monthlies. And then I pulled out these four vellums, rose gold or gold. Uh, Joanne Fabrics is where I got these, I think. I don't know. Here, here's the deal. I shop at Michael's, Joanne's, and Hobby Lobby for some of my vellums and so um, and acetates. And I apologize. What I do is um, this one actually is from Sterling Ink, and I like it because it matches the um, Simply Gilded washi. But what I do is I actually keep in two blue Q pouches, I keep my vellum and I keep my acetate and I have it already pre-cut. So then I, when I go to set something up, it's all ready to go on a B6 because I know that's my size and I'm good at committing to cutting a piece of vellum for that. Um, so I thought that these went, I thought this went really, really well. And this kind of pulled out the blues and the, the pinks there. I'm kind of using the bookmark as a reference. I also keep a piece of black cardstock that is cut to the size that I need. So when I pre-cut my acetate and my vellums, I just cut five to set five 
five by seven. So you can see that I'm gonna have a little edge. And what I do is I just hold this and I cut it. This allows me to not have to take my cutter out every single time I'm trying to be creative. So I really, um, that's really been working for me is just having a piece of cardstock. I have an A5 one too that I keep. All right, last but not least, I found this at the Dollar Tree the other day and I thought this was really, really pretty. And I think I'm gonna just add that because I like the colors and it goes with everything. And that's about it. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to um, set this up. Let's see, hang on. I'm gonna look for where I need to be. So this is where I'm gonna start. So like I said, I'm, oh, and here's a pencil board that that Rachel made me, isn't it pretty? It's so pretty, thank you Rachel so much, I'm loving it. Um, so these are my cover pages for October, and then I'm gonna go into um, my weather tracker, my sticker of the day, and this is where I use the stencils. I apologize you guys that I am not going to film this as I go, and really you gotta trust me on this, I go really slow, and um, I get interrupted either by the phone or Cooper or whatever. So this just, filming it this way just works out better, uh, I believe, for everybody involved. <laughs> and so then I do a two-page spread for no spend. And then I decorate this page. I stencil out the um, my gratitude here. See, that sticker is going to be huge, but we'll, we'll work it out. Maybe I'll put it on this side. And then I start with my daily pages. And so I will set everything up and then come back. And so I'm going to get started and I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, so I decided to maybe um, in certain parts of it, just turn on the camera and just kind of explain to you how I do it. So I realized that I didn't have any like cover cardstock or anything. And I really was drawn to this piece of vellum. I have a stack of vellum that is similar to this. It's from Ranger Inc. I think it's Tim Holtz. And I really, really wanted to use this. So I'm kind of glad. So what I did was I cut it um, kind of a little under 10 inches and a little under seven inches because I don't like my stuff going straight up to the edge. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use some mono adhesive and I'm going to um, round the the four corners because the Stalogies is the corners are rounded and I have this corner rounder, um, a viewer recommended this. I apologize that I cannot remember her name. And it has a small, medium, and large rounder. And so I'm just gonna go through and round the corners. I just think it gives it a softer look. <clears throat> and what I did was I just picked out this corner that I liked. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go right to left because this hump, and I want it to all just be like one piece. And so I'm gonna take this off. And we're just gonna apply it really slowly. This stuff is crazy sticky. So I'm just gonna put it on the side that I'm working with right now and just one little piece in the middle. Lay it down. And then I'm just gonna crease it gently, gently with my, um, my finger. Oh, that's gonna be gorgeous. And I'm going to just put some mono directly onto the Stalogy. Actually, I bet you I could use this. And then to make it easier, I'm gonna add it just on the actual page itself. Remembering not to go all the way to the edge. 
I can always add more under the cards, under the vellum. I've got stuff everywhere on my desk. Oop, and I want to put a little piece right here. There it is. Oh my goodness, how beautiful is that? Isn't that fun? And then I think what I'll do is I'll pull out my um, my monthly. And let's see what I've got for October. And we'll just put an October there. Oh, I wish I had one like that. <gasps> Perfect. So that's from Hobby Lobby. You get like two sheets and when it runs half off, it's like... 99 cents and then how cool is that and I think <laughs> don't quote me but I think Rachel sent me a 2021 vinyl and if she did I'm gonna be super happy okay let's see she sent me a big pile of goodies um are they all 2022? It's highly likely. Yes. But I bet you in my stash, I have 2021. And I will look for that when the camera's not rolling so that this video isn't like a billion years long. Okay, so that is how I'm starting out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stencil out my weather tracker. with my stencil. And so all I really do is I just put down some washi tape to kind of keep it secure. I mean, this is not new or shattering stuff. And this, the Stalogy is going to, this is it, you guys. This is my last month in this book. So I have a little bit of a hump, not as big as some people. Oh, see, that's not gonna work. So I'm just gonna have to go right here and then really hold it down when I stencil it out. So I'm gonna do that and be back with you um, in a minute. Okay, so I've got all of my stencil stuff done and I'm kind of gonna, let's, okay, I was gonna work backwards, but let's not. So just, that's breathtaking. I just love that so much. I'm so glad that I was able to use that. Um, normally I would tip something in there, but mm -mm, nope, not this time. So I've stenciled out the monthly and I actually need to pick a Tombow. Why didn't I do that before I started filming? And I'm going to try these two colors. So I'm going to go in the back here. Here we go. Ooh, I like that one. And you can kind of see that I have the jumbo sticker here. Oop, nope, it's this one. So color number 912 is what I'm gonna use. And so let's go back to the weather tracker. So this is basically all, all that I do is I just, kind of go like this. And just create a little swatch. And then also really, really applying myself to use, to use what I have. I'm looking for the date dots. So I'm gonna set this aside because this is for when I set everything up into my cover. And then, ooh, I wanted to use this. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna do that really quick. And the Steelers are about to start to play here in about 30 minutes and my son called and said, come over for the game. And I'm like, all right, let's do it. So see, I can get interrupted so easily. We'll just put that right there. Just 
just a fun way to use one of my name vinyls. It doesn't always have to be on the cover of something. Oh, I didn't scratch that down enough. So pretty. Okay. So it's not coming off. And it's the it's operator error, it's not the vinyl. So I'm going to go from the other direction. It's probably because it's on this vellum, I guess. I don't know. Oh, that's more of a pink than a rose gold. Ooh, pretty. Okay, so very, very fun. You know, and this is why I love the Stalogy is each month you can just make it something special and <clears throat> just make it your own. Okay, so the other thing that I do is I use the Zig Clean Color Dots, and this is Color Island Coral, and I just go into those little squares. Well, there's not much of a contrast there, but that's okay. Again, one thing that I do love about the Stalogy is that I know anything that I create that I'm like, mm, I'm not loving it, it's all right. I get to do something different next month. And I didn't have that kind, that type of relaxation and acceptance of myself in other planners because I felt like if I decorated a page because it was a yearly planner, you know, meaning I was going to be stuck using it all year long, that I was stuck with it. And so then I got performance anxiety. Oh, like something you wouldn't believe. I mean, I was terrified to even lay down a sticker that said my name, even though I'm the one owning it. <laughs> you know and now it's just like I get to do something different every month if I want and okay so I've got piles everywhere that's okay I am going to look for an October sticker for right here uh, these are kind of poofy this I like this one this one will do just fine And that's from a Happy Planner book. And I have many. Ooh, I just saw this. I'm going to save this, I think, for... Ah, oh, I don't have a January. Because uh, uh. January, I'm already plotting that I'm going to do these kind of icy blue colors. I don't know. I'm, I've been known to change my mind. And so then here, I just write out Monday. And that was another thing. I was getting myself pressured to um, be a hand letter person. And I thought, why? I have really pretty handwriting. Like, and so now I just accept that I don't hand letter and I just handwrite. And I've been really much more happy with that. I try to hand letter and I, I can't. I just can't. And I know it's because I don't put forth the effort and then Sunday Saturday and Sunday the columns on the stencil are a little bit thinner they're more narrow I wish that it would you know accommodate but it is what it is and that's another reason why I love stencils I only have to buy it once and then I forever have it okay so October 1st is a Friday Oh, these aren't the date dots that I want to use. I just had them in my hand. Okay, hang on. Oh, here they are. I'm going to just use these from Scribble Prints Co. I had like a little sampler or something, and I just cut the numbers off. And I'm just going to go like that. Boy, I got a lot of color palettes going on here. And so I just lay the numbers down. And then... You guys don't have to watch me do all of that, but I'm going to add, I think I'm going to add some gray polka dot bow washi. And I'm just going to do it. Um, maybe three bows centered. That didn't, that did not cut very well. I'm not okay with that. All right. Let me Let me try this. Mm. 
Okay, that's a little better. And then I think I want to, so we're just doing like a little tiny bit of decorating. See how distracted I get? Ooh. I think I'm gonna put this one up here. And that's as much decor as decoration. I don't know, I'm pausing because I'm not sure I'm in love with it. Um, let's see. I kind of feel like this should be, like I should have two of those. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then this down here. There we go. And that's another thing I like about um, the vinyl stickers that she offers is that they are removable. Now, I will tell you, I would be very, very transparent with you guys. I wasn't in love with these stickers for a very long time because you have to have a permanent pen. But because I'm only setting it up once for, and I'm not like doing everything weekly where I have to write on the stickers, um, you know, every once in a while, so I always have to worry about keeping the pen with me, this kit will work. I hope that makes sense. Meaning, once I lay the stickers down and I write on them, then I'm good. Because the rest of the month, I'm gonna be actually writing on the paper, so I'm not much worried about always having the permanent Sharpie with me all the time if I laid down, say, a box and then had to like plan throughout the week. I hope that makes sense, what I'm trying to say to you. So I'm going to go through, add the numbers. I'm going to do the same thing, maybe a pinch of different um, decoration, but I'll show you when I do the flip through. And then here I just use this and I used mono, got this crooked and you get one shot with mono. It doesn't come back up, but that's okay. So this is going to be my no spend. And um, then I will go um, into my gratitude, which well, let's do that. I think I have time to do that before the game starts if I don't continually lose stuff, is I'm gonna put this here, okay? And it's gonna come over the page a little bit. So I'm gonna trim this down. I'm gonna grab my <clears throat> paper trimmer and I'm just gonna go just to the edge there. Oh, it's gonna cut off part of the flower, but that's okay. Okay, and we're just going to add that to this page. And you know, I used to think, oh, everybody complains about the hump when their stalagy gets so big. And I thought, what's the problem? <laughs> you guys, it's a problem. It's straight up. Okay, um, even though this is removable, I'm going to bend this back a little bit. Again, I'm not slicing bread for the first time. <laughs> and I'm just going to, I love these jumbo stickers. I've used them every month. Oh, every month for a, oh gosh, at least the last six months. So get that in there. And then where, Oh, there it is, right on top. It's camouflaged. Okay. This actually is coming in handy. Okay. And then just peel that back. Just go slow, you guys, because even though this is removable, oh, see, I already got, I already got it goofy right there. It's okay. I don't ever get freaked out about fixable problems. I mean, honestly, what's the point, right? Love it. Okay, there's a little smooch there, but that's okay. All right, so that is my gratitude page. So I'll get rid of that, recycle that. And then I'm hunting that gratitude sticker. Here it is. And I think what I'll do is I'll just stick it right here on the left. shot at this too so 
put it up there where it doesn't take up too much of the page. Grab my scissors. I need to find like a little tiny sharp scissors and get one of those. Oh, I do have my cutter B scissors in my to-go bag. That looks so cute, you guys. And then what I'll do is I will all oh, see I'm getting distracted. Alexander's going to kill me. <laughs> He's going to be like, where were you? I'm like, planning. All right, so I'm going to just put these down. So these number stickers are from Pookie Bear Cuties. I like them because they're on, they're black and that does come in handy. So I'm gonna put these down. <clears throat> I'll just put the first five down and show you what I do. And then I just take the um, zig and I just put color on it. Love it. And so can you see that? Hang on, just a minute. And so it just kind of changes the look of them. Not sure I'm a fan of this orange. That didn't look so orange um, over here, but that's okay. We're just gonna go with it. And so I will finish that and then show you this when I go the when I do the flip through. But I gotta I gotta get going right now. I gotta go watch the game. Um, so I will be back in a second. Okay, I'm back from the game and the Steelers did not do well. And I took a nap and I feel refreshed. I've kind of done some of the things and I just wanna go over it really quick. So I added the numbers, the dots. I'm gonna tip this in and we'll kind of do that at the, we'll do it now. I think we'll do it now. Um, I've cut my washi. I'm gonna tip that in. And then here's going to be my sticker of the day. I'm not, I'm not really gonna, um, I'm not gonna tip anything in because I like the full view of that. But this is gonna be my no spend. I'm not completely thrilled with this book washi, but I'm going to leave it because that's what I'm saying is it doesn't much matter if, um, and I'm going to trim this just a little bit. I'm just going to freehand it. It doesn't much matter if I don't love it um, because I get to create something brand new next month. So I don't really fuss about it being perfect, which is really helping my if I have anxiety, which I don't think I do, but you know, my performance anxiety for myself, I don't have performance anxiety for YouTube, mostly just like, oh, that's not perfect, so I'm just not gonna do it. Okay, so I'm gonna trim that just a little pinch more. And this is how lazy I am. I don't wanna get my cutter out, but I also don't like the stuff falling over the edge. So I'm just gonna use the minimum punch and underneath it catches all the stuff. This punch, I will link it below, is the bomb. I love it so much. So I think what I'm gonna do is use the book washi to tip that in. And I know I've heard from people where they're like, oh no, we wanna see the whole process. And you know what? Uh, please know this is coming from a good place. No, you don't. <laughs> because it takes forever. It takes me forever. And also, I kind of like to create in private too sometimes. So that's another reason why I just like to do things the way I do them. And I'm just gonna stick some washi up there and just cut it, the little cutter. Sometimes that washi cutter from Honey Bee Shop doesn't cut exact. And you can see that I didn't put that on exact. So I'm just gonna take that off. Oh goodness. And now it's tearing. And see the camera, the tripod's in the way, so I struggle a little bit with that. Okay, there we go. And it just kind of has some continuity with um, the other pages. Okay, so this is my gratitude. And no, and I might put like a little sticker there or something. Actually, we'll just put the book there. I like that. And we'll just kind of layer that a little bit. Oh, that looks good. I like that a lot. All right, so now we're going to go into the days, which is why I turned on the camera. 
and I am going to um, I'm going to just lay down on each day this stencil and I'm going to do something completely different that I've never done before. The left side is going to be um, the date cover with just whatever um, boxes like trash day, appointments and things like this. And then this right side is going to have a to do box. Okay. Or today. And then this is where I'm going to make my lists. So in the morning when I um, get up and I have my coffee, I this pretty much lives on my lap in the morning. And um, I, I think I'm going to try to draw this box out. This would be a cool place to put the date cover too. And then I'm just going to draw the lines. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for it. I'm going to draw the lines. And this is where I'm going to log um, kind of, hey, what Sarah said, rapid log what happened that day so that I have some kind of, um, some kind of like tracking of what happened. And now I realized I don't have space for my bottom washi. Hmm. I could put it in here. Yes, I could. And I think I will. And then I think, uh, let's see. I'm going to grab the kit, you guys. So I'm thinking I'm going to grab the kit. And maybe I'll alternate so that I can use these, um, these pumpkin checklists. And there's date covers to do. I think I was going to layer the washi on top, which I still could. Oh, that looks cute. I just kind of pierce that and then I, okay, that looks cute. I'm just winging it. So let's see. I, I could put the date could put the date here. Hmm. I think I've gone through these pages already. But I definitely, definitely want to use um, use the washi. Yeah, let's do it. Let's put let's try it. Let's put the date cover. So first is a Friday. Okay. And I think that's okay. I think I think it's going to look really pretty actually. So And then up here I can just do stickers and things and layer boxes. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Hmm. Do I want to go here? Oh, this is exhausting. See, I can't decide. No, nope, I want to do there. So I'm going to just, I'm just going to do that. I think, I think it's going to be okay. I don't, I do not like that. Okay. <laughs> I very much like the look of that though. I'm not, again, this is not my favorite bottom washi from her, but I think I am going to just do, um, do the dates up here like tradition and then just leave that for deco or whatever, you know, but yeah, I like it. So I'll put a to do here and I probably will just scribble something with a Tombow there and then put a to do sticker and then that's going to be my to do list. And then this will be stuff that's already scheduled that I know won't that that will stay the same and maybe overflow from this because sometimes this gets really full, but I do I do like this. I think what I don't like about it, and actually let's try it. I think what I don't like about it is drawing the boxes. All right, so let's let's try that. And actually, I'm gonna flip this now. I'm gonna complicate it even more for myself. And the reason I'm gonna flip it is because I don't wanna write, actually, how do I do that? Yep, 
I'm gonna have to do this because I don't wanna write down into the hump my to-dos, okay? So I'm just gonna, that's okay, that's the best part about using a stencil is you can flip it, turn it upside down, slide it over like what I'm doing right now. And then we'll just do that and I'll line this box up. And I think, I think I'm just gonna draw the lines. We'll just try it. Each day does not have to look exactly the same. I'm not gonna dry, uh, draw the vertical lines because I don't think, I think that's what I don't like about that on the previous page. Okay. And then let's lay down some of the washi. We'll alternate it. Crooked. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, the tripod's in the way, so I'm gonna have to like really lean in. Okay, there we go. And use the grid on the paper. Okay, so that, I actually like that better. I don't mind this so much. I didn't like all the square. And then we'll just maybe use the, there's a lot of gray on this bottom washi. So let's just use the book washi and just go. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I like that a lot. I'm hunting, you know what? We're just gonna have to eyeball it for now because I don't know where the washi thing went. Do that. Okay, I, I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then here will be the date cover. Got 8,000 sheets going here and that blade's still sticking out so I have to be careful. So Saturday and see what I do is I don't do it per week, okay? I do it for the whole month. So I have to be very careful to put the second on a Saturday. And so then that's what my days will be like. And then I'll just fill this in with like if I have to work or whatever. So let me, I'm going to do that for 31 days. This is going to be my brain dump. And let me show you that. So I have these from Pookie Bear Cuties. There's little washi strips that come with this set, but I'm not gonna use these today because they clearly don't match. But I am going to do um, brain dump and I'm gonna just use this kind of bluish gray N60. And it's going to be my monthly brain dump for things that I absolutely need to get off my butt and get done. <laughs> we all have that, right? And I think I like lining it up with the numbers. And I do actually, I do want those dots there. I do want these circles. And I'll just draw in a couple I don't want to go all the way down and I'm just gonna take my color dot and go like that just to give it some color if that's what you're doing when you're using gray and then I'm gonna use I think I'm gonna go for this I'm gonna go for N95 and I'm just gonna go across it's very subtle gray but it's it's a beautiful gray And then we're gonna put brain dump. Brain dump to-do list. Um, hey, this is weighing on your, your mind. Get it to a piece of paper so that you don't have to worry about it anymore. And so that's what I'm gonna use this, this page for. Normally I would decorate it, but I, I do need, I do have some things that, man, I gotta, when people bring it up, I'm like, oh, crap, I forgot about that. 
and I do need to start being a little bit more responsible. I mean, shoot, you guys, with all the planners that I own, <laughs> you'd figure somebody wouldn't have to ask me four times about something. Um, okay, so I'm just, I'll just cut this because, again, the washi cutter is somewhere under a pile. I'll just cut that little corner. And that was off camera, but... All right, so I'm gonna, um, I'll do these pages and I'll come back with you here and we'll tip, we'll tip this all in and then we'll do a flip through. Okay, everybody, I think I'm done. It's been about two hours um, since I watched the game and... <laughs> okay, <laughs> you guys, I'm telling you, I go so slow. All right, so there is my cover page. I'm gonna tip in some stuff. I'm gonna tip this in and um, just use the corner rounder. And I'll show you, I'll show you how I tip it in. I did try that double face tape once and I didn't like it because it just stuck to one side and then I couldn't like fully swivel it. So I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna stick to this washi tape and I am not, Fancy, you guys, about how I do this. Get my scissors. Now this is how I do it. Just leave a little bit, okay? Just a little bit on the other edge. And I just bend it back. Getting it straight. I tuck it in. And I do try to stencil where I leave a little bit, um, I'm not even gonna worry that that creased, where I leave a little bit there, so I'm not going over. See how that's, there's a little bit of edge there. Okay, and then I just take the washi tape and just kind of finger crease it. And I, I tried, um, I tried the packing tape way and honestly it was just too much of a struggle. So I just, that's how I do it and it works great. So this is gonna be my weather tracker, which I have done for the longest time. And actually that's kind of cool because the gold bows are the gold foil there and then there's silver foil on the other side and it's gray and it matches, so I like that. All right, this one is gonna be my sticker a day and I'm not much gonna, um, I don't think I'm gonna do anything with this because I kind of like to have the whole spread really accessible to me. This looks really plain to me, but I'm I'm gonna leave it. And then this is my no spend. There's my little pookie no spend sticker. Not a fan of this, but I continued to use it. So I'm going to then, I think I'm gonna use um, this kind of mustard bow washi. Again, Simply Gilded bow washi is my favorite. And let's see, I like the bows going that way. I have a referral code. If you've never ordered from them, follow the code and then um, you'll get a coupon code once you kind of sign up on their website. And it's good to sign up on the website, you guys, because then you get points when you buy and I'm all about that. Okay, so why is that not going? So I'm gonna tuck. It in there again I am not it's really strange how I'm not a perfectionist with this planner okay and I'm just gonna cut it right there I really really like this vellum and sterling ink she has the most gorgeous original artwork um, you absolutely, she has clear matte stickers, the regular um, white paper stickers. She's got vellum 
and it's just beautiful. And she launches new stuff every month. And if you join her Facebook group, you also get a monthly freebie, which I couldn't use because I'm doing my October really early, you guys. Um, so that is going to be my no spend. And what I'm going to do is on the days that I don't spend, I'm going to put one of her stickers there. And on the days I do spend, it's like a little coin purse with money. It's so cute. And so I'm going to tuck those in my planner, which we'll do here in a moment. So here is my gratitude. Oh, and actually, you know what? I do want to add some deco as we go along. So this is what I have left of the kit. And I will put those in my reusable sticker books. I ended up forgetting that I wanted to do these. And so um, I'm going to just use them somewhere else, which... <laughs> You guys, I am 1,000% shocked. I'm not going to use any full boxes in this spread. I'm going to save it for my print pressions and or um, maybe a rewind plan in my vertical planner. I, I'm absolutely shocked about that, you guys, because I, I am a lover of full boxes. So I'm going to pull out the sheets with the deco. I'm going to keep these for my Hobonichi Weeks. And then um, I'm going to use these flat lays and these decos. So I'm going to set these sheets aside and we'll use those another time. And I'm going to, I need, I need something here, you guys. It's just too blah. And I think, I think I'm going to add him right there at the top and then the fireplace down here. I'm gonna save the smaller deco. Yeah, that, I mean, it's not like, I mean, how do I wanna say this? It's not fancy, but it gives me um, very happy feeling when I open it up and I love it. Love this kit. I love how everything was in this kit and I did not run out and look at, look at all that I have left. So I can do another spread with this, possibly two more spreads one in my print pressions and one in my vertical rewind planner so i'm very 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 pleased with this i'm actually super i know i've already said this but i'm super super shocked that i did not um that i did not use um guys i didn't use full boxes i'm absolutely just completely blown away um okay so i've i've got that there i think i'm okay with it i guess we could add like a little let's add one of the little mugs up here and that looks good and then I want to pull out there's one more thing I want to do and I'm actually running out of battery on my phone um, so if I feel if I seem a little like uh, rushed um, that's why so I'm gonna pull out my simply gilded and I want to pull out something a little orange Ooh, that hang on I'm not even in camera um, hmm. Oh, let's do these. They're kind of orangey and they're fun and they have gold foil. And I'm just, I do this every month. I just make a little tab. So you can see my tabs are over here. So I'm going to do it on the top. And this is all I do. These Simply Gilded Bow Seals are fabulous. And this helps me to find this page, which I go to every morning um, very, very quickly. So they're facing, so they just create a tab. Love it. Okay. Um, so I think we're good with all that. And then what we're going to do is just kind of maybe on my days off. Let's do that. So I've got my game day. I'm going to fill in all the details later. And this is pretty much how I start the month. Okay. So my day off, I'm just going to, um, let's keep it simple. We'll just add, I'm going to add a planner here on, on this one. And that's how I'm going to use the simple deco. Let's do a pumpkin. Mary always says pumpkin. I'm like, no, they're pumpkins. And she's like, no, pumpkin. I'm like, <laughs> okay, I'll let you have that. And so <laughs> we're going to have a little cup of coffee there. Oh, I like that. Okay, I feel like I'm losing my light, and it's probably because I'm getting low on battery. So I'm going to... 
Uh, sort of rush, you guys. So Friday, and then the little mug. Yeah, that looks cute. And then Sunday, ooh, I like this one. Sunday we're gonna sleep in, or we're gonna try. I don't know, we're gonna see if Cooper's gonna let me. I love, I love all this stuff. And I'm completely forgetting the flat lay. So let's do Sunday here. Ooh, and I didn't add washi, I completely forgot. So we're gonna do that really quick. Just cut it very simply. I knew I was gonna forget something. And then we'll just add that flat lay there. Very, very cute. And then, now remember, I don't have to use everything. And I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna do something really fun. So on the 28th, is Cooper's birthday. It's your birthday. That's what I say to him all day long. It's your birthday. So I'm going to tip in this vellum just for a celebration. So I'm gonna clip that. And what I wanna do is I wanna take this big, huge sticker from the dollar store and I wanna add it to the, to the front of the vellum. And actually, I think I'll do it here I want to do that. I think I want to do it like this, and then when I flip it, it's that color. I don't want to cover up that gorgeous rose gold, so that's what we're going to do. Radiate Joy, that's what he does for me every day, even though I get aggravated. <laughs> even though I get aggravated. And I'm, oop, I think I get one shot at this, so I'm going to make it go this way so that when I tip it in with the washi, I wonder if I can fold it. Yep, I'm gonna fold it. Pretty. Cool. All right, so let's tip this in. We're gonna use this washi. Oh, I love it. Okay. getting so late and Sunday night football has started so I'm excited to watch the game I don't even know who's playing you guys I just like watching football okay so I'm gonna tuck that in like that to celebrate Cooper and his birthday he's gonna be nine okay so cute all right, and then we're gonna have to put just a little strip over here. I'm gonna cut it. It this I'm gonna tell you this hump is getting. Um, actually, I'm gonna have to cut it a little bit because I can't go over my work sticker. So let's just stick that right here. Actually, you know what? Nope. Yep, we're gonna just stick it here. That's okay. Sometimes I do stuff like that. Okay, I just didn't wanna cover up this work sticker and oh my goodness, they're not kidding. This this hump issue is, is a problem. I can't get in there. Okay, there we go. So that is for Cooper's birthday. Happy birthday to Cooper on October 28th. Okay, so that is basically, well, yeah, I, not much will change except for writing. That is my October setup. And um, man, I I think I probably will say stay subscribed to this uh, kit because I really, really enjoyed just having, oh, I forgot washi there too. I forgot washi there too. You know what? It's okay. I'm going to add it later, you guys, because it's getting late and I'm getting hungry for supper. So I'll probably just add different ones like this and fill in my work and stuff when I'm more rested. But that is how I start each month. And I've got all my appointments in there and everything. 
And then the last day, this is, um, I keep track of deployment for somebody who's close to me. And then this TV series tracker is gonna be really fun to have. And then at, and then the rest is just kind of um, information and brain dump pages. So I'm excited to try the brain dump over here. Where did I do that? Right here. I'm excited to do that. So um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you got ideas. That is the that is my motivation for spending the time to film this is that you guys um, you guys get ideas and I will link everything below. And oh, also before I go, if you do order for, from any of the links below or the shops, and if you order from Pookie Bear Cuties and you don't use the code because you have a better code, um, if you mention me in the notes, you'll get a exclusive freebie. But most of all, if you order from those shops, I appreciate it if you mention that you um, learned about their shop from my channel only because that helps them know where um, the sales are driven from. I get nothing from that. OK, I um, but it just it just helps small shops. Uh, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe and always enjoy today. Bye, everybody.